preparing chicken when you want it to rotate inside your oven so i can hi guys how are you doing i hope you're all staying safe and i hope you're all good welcome back to petite mama youtube video if you're new here my name is Eunice. i'm a mom and i'm a wife and it's all about motherhood experiences everything good about lifestyle and definitely about being a wife so on today's video guys i'm going to show you some very very basic and simple ways or rather i'm going to show you how to use your oven yes that's the key word your oven after today's video guys you're not going to use your oven as storage anymore because you will realize how easy and simple it is to use the oven so i'm going to teach you about timer i'm going to teach you about controlling temperature and i'm going to show you the different levels where the heat comes from in your oven so i've been using my oven for quite a long time now because i use it so much in, when it comes to baking when it comes to preparing chicken steak and also what have i not mentioned yeah everything that i need to put in the oven that's it so i'm also going to do this because i've compared it to the gas oven which i did a cake at my friend's place so i've seen these a very very big difference when it comes to the gas ovens and the electric ovens so today i'm going to use my cooker or oven uh, my cooker stroke oven is the Mika 3g 1a that means three gas uh, burners and one electric gas burners so stay tuned and watch this video till the end let me know what you will learn and i'm sure you're going to learn so much another very important and key factor to remember when you are buying a cooker this one i'm just going to tell you for free because i know so many people don't know the difference there's a difference between a 50 by 50 centimeter cooker and a 50 and a 60 by 60 centimeter cooker or is it 58 by 60. 58 by 60 is the larger size not the largest but it's one of the larger size which goes for about 26,000 and above depending on the brand and the 50 by 50 is always ranging between 20 and 23 or 24 so most people don't know the difference so you end up being sold the uh, the smaller cooker at the price of the bigger cooker so take key note of that if you're about to buy a cooker stroke oven then another tip that i'll give you please if you can just buy your cookers at a wholesale shop where they deal with electronics what i'm trying why i'm saying this is because you have a very very good and bigger chance of bargaining especially in this wahindi shop like for me i buy most of my electronics at a shop called al yasin it's at tomboya street opposite uh world business center i think around audion just next a uh, cop bank that's in nairobi cvd so there when i go i'm always beginning and you'll always be given a big cut of almost two thousand or four thousand but now when you go to the supermarket the price is fixed you cannot begin unless you have the once a year offers on electronics which at the end of the year they still make a lot of profit so I would advise if you can just go to a shop where they deal with only kitchen appliances and you're going to get the discount of your life so those are some of the key factors that I really wanted to share with you guys so without wasting any more time let's get into this video so basic information is that what I mean by 3g is that this is a gas burner this is gas this is gas and this is electric so sometimes for me when gas is over and it's in the middle of the night i can go ahead and just light my electric burner and i can still continue with my cooking that's the biggest advantage about this another key factor that people don't know is this switch electric uh, socket over here what i did for me uh when it came i couldn't connect it to this socket because this does not have enough power sometimes to control the oven power the oven heat so i called over fundi and he got me i got this connected directly to the wall so it gives your oven sufficient heat it just gives it enough heat but sometimes you find that if you connect it here you'll find that your oven is not lighting up the way you want or it does not give you the kind of heat that you want or it overpowers it's it overpowers this socket so that's why it has to be put directly to the wall 
and then another key factor that people don't know is that you can still use your small gas to use in the cooker like you can still connect this small gas you don't most people assume that when you get a cooker or an oven you need the 13 kg gas no 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 you can still work with this small cooker it's only that it comes with a different uh the what the gas controller thing this kind of thing is different from the one of the 13 kg so those are some of the key factors to consider my oven for today is Mika. i think i'd mentioned that and then i'm going to start with this this is definitely the starter when you need your gas it sparks the gas so the moment you spark the gas you can light it on so you can see it's already lighting so that's a tip i put it on and then i spark and the gas lights on so that's one this one here is for controlling timer it's for the timer when you have your oven on so for the timer this says zero so if i put this automatically the oven is on the moment you have your timer the oven is on because it gives that clicking noise and it's like it's counting so if you're in the sitting room and you put 40 minutes when everything is cooked and 40 minutes are over it's going to give that sound just to show you that time is up so this and this and this uh, these ones are for the three burners this one now it comes to the electric cooker and you can see at three it's at the highest and it puts on this light to show you that the electric burner is on so i can reduce the heat to one to two and then to one and then put it off completely and the light is going to go off telling you that it's completely off so what we have here now is now the temperatures so when it comes to Mika, this is how it looks so when it's here it's completely at zero degrees and then now when you scroll down like this most heat that i use the constant um, degrees that i use are the 180 degrees that i use when it comes to baking that's like the constant key like i don't change this temperature most of the time my degrees is just pointing directly below because i mostly use 180 degrees in most of my bakings so that's it that's for degrees so if you're using baking chicken but for chicken and steak slightly goes high i can put it up to 200 or 225 so for this one the maximum is around 250 i guess a year so there are some oven that go higher than that or even yeah or even less i just depend with the brand and how heavy duty your brand has made it to be so another thing now the next one is this this is the most important thing that people don't understand first of all this sign shows that heat comes from both top and bottom that means heat comes from top of the oven let me just open this i have something here so this just shows that heat comes from up and also below so when it's like this the oven is totally off and nothing is no kind of heat will come out when it's like this this one is i what i use the most it shows that heat is coming from both top and bottom and this is what i use this is my constant key when it comes to everything because i need heat to come from both sides so this one here shows that the heat is only coming from below and this one depends on what you're cooking different varieties of food go with this kind of heat that only comes from below next one this one shows that heat is only coming from top this one is also good when you are trying to to steak or when, you, when you're just cooking something and you just want it to burn slowly on top to cook slowly on top next one is this this shows that this heat is for grilling it's, it's a lot of heat because you can see it's releasing some flames and then now I'm totally off so those are some of the basic things then this one what i have here let me just show you this because that is another important key thing that most people don't understand why it's there so that goes hand in hand with this so i think you guys you buy this and you wonder what it is for 
this one is definitely for preparing chicken when you want it to rotate inside your oven so i can easily remove this you just need to open the screw and it comes out so when you put your chicken here you can remove this actually so you put your chicken here it goes in when it's whole and this one is just to tighten it and then you also put it here on this other side it's quite difficult to do this you know with one hand Oops. Uh, but you see what i'm trying to say is that this one goes in and it holds the chicken firmly together so what or where do you put this so this one you have to remove this because now you're trying to to rotate your chicken let me just put the light on so you have to organize it in such a way that so where does this stick go so at the end there you can see a small hole i know i know you guys are wondering kumbe so this one you put it in that hole over there and it has to balance over here so meanwhile your chicken is right at the middle so when that is there family over there you just now put this on the moment you put this on it's going to rotate you can see it's rotating you can see it's rotating very slowly so your chicken is able to cook as it's rotating please tell me you've learned something i know most of you didn't know this so don't use your oven as a storage anymore it's very easy to use it go get your chicken today put it over there have your nini on and watch it rotate slowly by slowly as it cooks so apart from that something else that we have here are the trays this one depending on what you're cooking you can just place it over here so when you're baking this is how you wait this is where you can place your tray and just have your tin over there and then these other things i just put them there or rather if i don't want my uh, tray to be so high i just remove these things and then lower this to this level this is actually my best level it's in the middle quite well so the heat comes from top and bottom for gas ovens they are very different from how this one looks this area and this area they have some things like look like the gas burner on top here like this so that they can release gas so you have to light them with a matchbox so that the gas allows the heat to be on and also on top you have to light it with a matchbox so so that's another difference that i saw with the gas ovens another tray that comes with these uh, cookers is this tray which i just think is for extra in case you're doing something big and you can replace the square one with this one when you're doing something that requires a bigger space so apart from that it's also learning how to clean your oven that is another basic another major topic to talk about because the detergents are so many and some of the grease the dirt and grease especially after frying or doing steaks are so stubborn so you have to learn which detergent works best with the type of oven that you have so that's it for today guys and i'm going to see you in my next video that's it for today